pony soldiers will blame us for this. No. I will tell Marshal Earp. Chief Natchez, we are not on the reservation. Marshal Earp will be angry. Not listen. If we send for him, he no come. Talk, talk. I know what to do. We will wait for Marshal Earp or Big Wyoming on the trail. They ride much to Charleston. You, my scouts, go find Marshal Earp or Big Wyoming. If you bring Marshal Earp to camp, fine. If you take Big Wyoming, Marshal Earp come looking for him. They'll be angry, Natchez. Not as angry as the pony soldiers will be. If they catch us, we hang. And no more talk. Now go. got along very well with most Indians, and he especially liked Chief Natchez, the son of Cochise. But there was one time when the Apache chief was off the San Carlos reservation and became the prime suspect in an act of violence committed near Tombstone. Hey! What in thunder's going on here? Hey, you patches just cut out this foolishness right now, you hear? Where is Marshal Earp? In Tombstone, where you think he'd be. Now get this rope off of me. Chief Natchez sent me to find Marshal Earp or you. We find you. Natchez? Is that rascal done gone and jumped the reservation? I take you to him. We not hurt you, John Law. Natchez ought to know better than this. Well, I ain't gonna like it one little bit, I can tell you. Marshal Earp and Natchez are friends. <laughs> they was friends. How far we gotta go? Not a short ride, not a long ride. You act good, we act good. <laughs> Take it easy, Roscoe. We'll live, I guess. <laughs> Gibbs is nine hours overdue from Charleston. I think the Clintons might have got him. Nine hours is too long to take for that trip. Could be that mule of his has gone lame, though. Why? Now, read the telegram again. Here it says that his roadhouse is full of the Clanton outlaws celebrating. He might have bushwhacked him. Well, I never should have let Mr. Gibbs go to Charleston alone. Why? Let me call out the vigilantes. Now, old man Clanton's been asking for a showdown, and this might just as well be it. I'm sorry, sir, but this is personal. It's my resignation as city marshal and U.S. deputy marshal. I know you're angry, Wyatt, and I don't blame you. But I think you should take time to think it over. Sir, Shotgun Gibbs is a good friend of mine. And if he's been bushwhacked, I'm going to get the men who did it. And after that, I want the right to act as a private citizen. All right. I'll get Doc Holliday. No, sir, please. Doc isn't in any condition to travel as fast and as far as I may have to go. Well, then let me help you, Wyatt. All right. You just print in your newspaper that I've resigned and left Tombstone. Maybe then I can get the information I'm after. Well, I want to ride out with you, Wyatt. I know that, sir, and I appreciate it. But I want to do this alone. Now, the best way for you to help me is to pass the word that I'm an ex-John Law and bitter. And maybe I can get some hoodlums to tell me the truth. Wyatt, won't you at least wait until you cool off? I'm sorry, sir, but the feelings a man has for a good friend never change. If things work out, I'll be back for that start.
Who is it? Quiet. You said to your wire the Clintons were celebrating. Yeah. Did you mention Mr. Gibbs? No. Why? I have a hunch they bushwhacked him. They didn't mention him at all? Well, it was too early in the evening for any loose talk. Someone might get to bragging later on when they really get going. Yeah, I guess that's my best chance. Wait for a tip-off. Yes, I guess it is. Well, first, you pass the word that I uh, quit my job. I had a big row with the chief U.S. marshal and the governor. I'm mad, sick and tired of being a John Law. Too many risks for the money. Well, you know what to say. Right. I also need some watered-down whiskey and an introduction to one of the bar girls. I have to act like a man who's trying to forget his troubles. Well, maybe someone will believe it, but I don't know. Only one of them has to believe it. Now, you're trying to set this up, I'll wait in here. I'll come in the front door. If I act different, don't be surprised. I'll lock the door on the outside. Marshal Earp. Big Wyoming say he is in Tombstone. Well, why did you bring him here? Why did you not wait till Marshal Earp came looking for his friend? We fear posse. Marshal Earp would not hurt you. Get my crew stick. It is a sign of friendship. Scout for my friend. Bring him back. I am sorry, Big Wyoming. But I have to see Marshal Earp. What about? You are my guest. We have deer meat. We will talk. Why don't you Indians do things straight? You could have sent Wyatt a message. This way, Wyatt probably reckons I've been bushwhacked. First you jump the reservation. Then you kidnap a peace officer. You're in bad trouble, ain't you? And where's my shotgun? There. You say I'm in bad trouble? There will be worse trouble if they do not find Marshal Earp and bring him here to talk with me. Come to the fire. It is good meat. I got to water my mule, Oscar. They will have water. You act like a man with good sense, Big Wyoming. Well, how'd you act if you had rivals pointed at your head? If we find Marshal Earp, we do not need to shoot you. Well, perhaps I should have told you sooner, Doc. But Wyatt said he wanted to handle it all alone. You think he took the Charleston Trail? Well, he said he was going out to look for signs of a bushwhack and then go talk to J.B. Ayer. Pure selfishness. The first time Wyatt Earp ever went out to kill any outlaws and he wants to do it all by himself. After all, I deserve more consideration, you know. Gibbs was a friend of mine, too. If Wyatt starts killing without me, I'll never speak to him again. Bring everybody another drink. Here's to the law. Pay you $100 a month, and then they don't even bury you when you're full of lip. <laughs> yeah, the law! <laughs> now I'm going to drink to myself and all the years I've wasted. Is it true, Mr. Earp? You really took your badge off for good? Yep. Then why don't we go to a table and relax ourselves? Huh? Sure. By dinner, give her whatever she wants. You look sad. Come on, everybody's celebrating tonight. Uh, what is it, Fourth of July? Just the same as our boys had a big bushwhack. That's good. Mm, it was real good. There was Curly and Johnny and McAlrys. Shut up, Lola. What? 
Mrs. Wyatt Earp, the John Law around Tombstone. Not anymore. He quit. Didn't you, hon? That's right. Maybe he did. You are to hear, and I said I quit. All right, all right. Come on. Let's go to my place. It's peaceful, I can private at my place. I gotta wait here for old man Clinton. He never comes here. Are you sure he didn't tell you to meet him at Gaileyville? Why Gaileyville? That's where the big party is. Ike and Finn and Billy stopped by about an hour ago. They just had a couple of drinks. Was that you, uh, you said they were celebrating? The big bushwhack, hon. Come on. You can talk to the old man tomorrow. Besides, they'll all be too drunk to talk business now. What's the matter, Doc? You look worried. Of course he is. The great Marshal Earp got fired. <laughs> we don't want this fight. Let's have a drink in the back room. What about us, hon? Later. You have been drinking? No, it's part of the act. The girl, too? She says that the Clantons pulled a big bushwhack. They're over in Gaileyville celebrating. I guess you know who might be dead. It looks that way. How do I get at it? By ones or twos. You mean, how are we gonna get at him? You're not leaving me out of this. All right. Well, Clanton parties generally break up about 5 o'clock in the morning. There's only one good trail out of Gaileyville till you get to the forks. We could start shooting there and get them as they come. How many do you want? Brocious, Ringle, McGuire's, and Clanton. Why, do you make my heart sing. Hey, Er! Er! Yeah? The boys want you and Doc to come out of there. You just tell them to keep their shirts on. If it's a fight they want, they're going to get it. Out front. Mine, too. Let's go out the back way. Out here! feel like warning our friends at Galeyville. You're still using wing shots. And those cowboys are small fry. Gonna be any different when we jump the big guns? Yep. You know what? This is one of the moments I've kept myself alive for. Ryder come. Marshal Earp. Yes? Chief Natchez sent me to find you. Very important. Why? We take Big Wyoming with shotgun to Chief. Gibbs? Is he alive? Chief Natchez does not hurt him yet. I take you to him. He must talk with you. Very important. You think he's telling the truth, Wyatt? Apache uh, does not lie. Here. From Natchez to you, his friend. Natchez is acoustic with his sign. Why did your chief take Big Wyoming? I take you to camp. Natchez make talk. He say why. Wyatt, this may be a trick. Old man Clanton could have arranged it. No, the Apaches hate Clanton. How far is your camp? We be there when sun comes up. All right. I better go alone. Doc, you go on back to Tombstone. Mr. Clum will need one of us there. Gibbs better be alive. I ought to shoot Natchez. Just for all the trouble he's caused me. You get some sleep, you'll feel better tomorrow. You love Apaches. Your friend has bad temper. So is Natchez. 
Especially if he gets to thinking that I'm not coming. Move out. Hey, Ross, come cut that out. I'm done already a week, boy. What's the old ruckus over there? We've been here too long now. Couldn't find what, huh? No. They are fools. We cannot stay here. Pony soldiers search for us. If they find an Apache chief with a John Law prisoner, I know what they do. Yeah, so do I. Say, didn't you send four of your braves out to scout? Yes, why do you ask? Well, if I was you, I'd wait until the fourth and come back before I started breaking camp. You want the pony soldiers to hang me? All you got to do is turn me loose and go back to the reservation. I do not know I can trust you, Big Wyoming. You could tell about what I have done. We have to shoot you. Well, no, no, no. Just hold on. I wouldn't do nothing like that. Well, I wouldn't like that, and you sure enough wouldn't be his friend no more. Bring the white man's gun we take from cattle camp. You're a nice Wyoming. But I do not want my men to hang. I do not want to hang. I, Chief Natchez, will shoot you so you do not suffer. Well, I, I thank you kindly, but I just ain't ready to shoot him! Let him go, Mr. Gibbs! It is Marshal Earp, my friend. He is a brave man. I thought you were, too. Oh, take it easy, Wyatt. Chief here says he's got bad troubles. He sure has. Jumping the reservation, kidnapping a peace officer. No, it's worse than that, worse than that. Maybe he'll tell you. He better. I tell him. I need your help. We saw many Clanton outlaws bushwhack Mexican wagon train. These were not Mexican soldiers or fighting men, just wagon drivers with guards. I know we should stop it, but I do not have enough graves. There were too many. We saw the Clantons kill and then they torture. It was not nice. Then we saw them do more. They scalp Mexican drivers. They want pony soldiers to think Apaches do this thing. We are not on reservation, true. It has not permitted us to be here, true. But we are hunting for food. Now we be blamed for this murder. Them Clans? Where did it happen? San Luis Canyon, only three sleeps ago. Old man Clanton and his men were celebrating at Galeville last night. I thought it was you they bushwhacked. Are you believe me? Yes. Well, I'll have to go to San Luis Canyon. I'll have to make an official report on this. What if the pony soldiers catch us there? I said I believed you. Does not just not trust me? Chief, this is bad trouble. But Wyatt can square you with army. Very well. We go. Give him his gun. I go. <laughs> you know, I guess I never will understand them Apaches. Now, why couldn't that scamp have just wrote you a letter? Because the Apaches don't believe in writing messages. They think that their soul will go with the letter and never return. How would you like it if your soul wound up in the dead letter office? Well, I'll tell you the truth, I ain't got much faith in the U.S. mails myself. Listen, is there any way that we can pin that massacre on the implantants? We'll find out. Uh, thank you kindly. Marshal Lerp know how Apache takes scalp? Would Apache do this? No. Bad Apache is not nice. Bad white man is worse. I agree with you. The Colonel at Fort Huachuca will have to hear about this. Will you come with me? Pony soldiers not like us. It is not good to go there. You better go and tell them your story yourself. You want all the Apaches in the San Carlos to be blamed for this? No. We go to Fort Huachuca. The 
point is, Colonel, that old man Clanton has become bolder and bloodier in his raids on the Mexican wagon trains. And if something isn't done to stop him, the Mexicans are bound to fight back. Quite true, Marshal. At any rate, Chief Natchez has done the Army and his own people a great service in the San Luis Canyon affair. Yes. Chief Natchez, I'll spare you the indignity of returning to the reservation under military guard. However, I must have your word you return at once. You have my word. We thank you, Marshal Earp. So you do believe the Apaches this time? I'm inclined to, Mr. Earp. Unfortunately, the word of an Indian, even a chief, is not sufficient for me to take action against Clanton. I understand, sir, but it is enough for me to take action against him. The Mexican government has been complaining to Washington about Clanton. The truth is the Mexicans already raid across our border. The only help I can promise you is a tighter patrol on the canyon trails. Thank you, sir. This uh, latest raid has hit a new low when even Apaches are shocked by it. Good day, sir. Good day, Marshal. About. Well, Mr. Gibbs, one thing, I'm glad you're alive. I thought I was going to have to start killing somebody over your being dead. You were ready to drop Clanton's all along the trail from Galeyville. <laughs> you make me almost sorry I wasn't bushwhacked. Well, I'm glad you weren't. I still don't care for killing. <laughs> You know who is Senor Clanton? See? Si. You tell him the next time he raid, he will die. The pleasure. Gracias. Vámonos. You hear that, Roscoe? Hold on now, boy. What are you sad for? Well, now maybe Roscoe feels sad about all us humans, Mr. Gibbs. Up the country, the old Wild West country, he made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. Oh, Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp, brave, courageous, and bold. Long live his fame, and long live his glory, and long may his story be Brave, courageous, and bold. Long live his fame. 